Hey everybody, Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoor, standing inside the 2020 Forest River No Boundaries or the Nobo 19.5. Now, this rear bath travel trailer is set up for that couple that wants to be extreme, needs something durable, rugged, and lightweight. The 19 series is not going to be over 5,000 pounds for any of those Nobos that you're going to find. For this one, we're going to start right back here in the rear. Now, I'm a fan of the Nobos because of the rugged exterior, but the very modern metropolitan styled themed inside that they have. You see the solid wood doors on the bathroom. We got ourselves a stainless steel fridge that runs on both gas and electric, giving you plenty of space for those long weekend trips for the couple that wants to get out and just go. But when we walk into the bathroom, the first thing you're gonna notice, uh, the bathroom back here is not on the slide. This does have a living room slide, but look at the space and roominess that we have here plenty of room on this plastic toilet with the foot flush you got large space here which is mainly taken up uh taken up by the single basin sink which that's winterization fluid in there if you want to know what that was we just wanted to test it and yes it's always good to winterize your camper more importantly dewinterize your camper talk to your rv specialist about the best time to do that it's going to vary based on where you are mirrored vanity right here and you got those shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixtures all the way around solid cabinetry but just take a look at the insides how light and airy this camper is over here on the back wall is where you can find your control panel for your flush, uh, your, your battery, your water, your tanks. Now this does have a 30 gallon fresh water tank, which is pretty big for a travel trailer this size, but you can do all your checks there as well as cut on your water pump and your water heater. And Bob, see if you can get this right here. The go power, that's because this 19.5 Nobo is wired for solar. There's a spot on the roof where if you had the solar panels, you could easily put them in. Solid glass on this shower with the single surround with the corner notches and the large skylight up there giving you plenty of room. But the way they have this set in, the corner notches and the glass doors, not only is this beautiful residential style and feel, you got plenty of room in there. So if you've been looking to upgrade a camping experience and get something with a little style, a little comfort, but also rugged enough to go anywhere, this 19.5 could be where you're at. Just take a look. We got stainless steel hooks around. We got bottle openers. Here's where you can track your slide room, your awning, the porch lights, the awning lights, so forth and so on. Metropolitan gray countertop that we're gonna have here. Got the plastic cover, which is also a cutting board and a drying rack for this single basin drum style sink with the brush nickel high rise. You got a flush mounted two burner cooktop over here with the glass cover. And I'm a fan of it being flushed because uh, now I can slide stuff around and move stuff around. Shaker style cabinets with plenty of storage up above. And they are strut supported, which is a big thing for some folks. You got the push button, LED lights, more storage underneath. And one thing that I thought was a really nice touch right here on this storage shelf, or as I like to call it the spice rack, they put a suspension rope. So if you do have spices in there or if you have something that you want to carry with you, that suspension rope is going to help keep them in. You have a stainless steel microwave and convection oven right there. And right above the sink, if you want to know what that is, this is the holder for your JBL pillbox. Because all of these come with the JBL flip fours, I like to call them the pillbox. You can take it inside, take it outside, take it with you hiking, camping. This is a fantastic exterior adventure style camper got your wardrobe and or pantry storage right here uh, and if you notice we got a little safe box in here as well got paperwork and everything in there you got your little safety box you even have the hangers in there so if you wanted to hang your jackets uh, it's a good spot for it but for me that's a great spot for the backpacks if you're going hiking easy grab and go that's what i'm about kavu the backpack the water packs whatever bam grab and go 28 inch led tv which is already mounted and set in, even has its own security straps. Uh, your connections are right there, including the 12 volt. So yes, this is set up for 12 volt power if you do have that style of TV. We got a 13 and a half BTU uh, air conditioner with the quick cool right there. But my favorite part about this 19.5, the way Forest River did these Nobos is really cool. This table, you can easily move in and out, take it outside, whatever. It does reduce down and become part of the bed setup. But just take a look at how they did the cushions 
for this. You could have somebody sitting here, somebody sitting there. You can take these and move these around, make it part of the bed, make it two uh, like lounge chairs if you want it to, just turn them this way and then you can extend out. But this reduces down into a bed. You still have countertop space here, shaker style cabinets with the frosted glass inlays up top, strut assisted, very nice touch there, Forest River. But the way that they made this convertible so that if you did want to use it as a bed, you could use it as a bed. If you wanted to use it as a lounger, <clears throat> excuse me, or just chairs, you absolutely could. Got the handle right there to pull the bed out. And if you just want to put these away, you notice the cushions under there. You can just take the Velcro off and slide them under. You even have storage space underneath each one with the Velcros. How cool is that? So, modern metropolitan nouveau chic. That's going to be my new term for these. I like it. If they don't like it, sorry. They even have the suspension racks up here on the push button stoppers on both sides so that if you're in here and sleeping, you can obviously keep them up. But if you needed a spot to put additional gear, backpacks, whatever, we have one pulled down for you over there underneath the fire alarm. We got strut supported storage underneath the master bed here as well. And this is a queen size bed. So right here on the front of this camper, you have the large bay window, got the push button LED lights, windows on each side, nightstands on each side with storage and plenty of countertop space. The power ports are down at the bottom. So for convenience, that could be a little bit wonky, especially if you have those short cords and you had like a reading light or a CPAP machine, you might want to get like a little extension cord or plug for that, but extremely comfortable setup. Got the shaker style cabinets. Once again, frosted inlays with the strut assisted right there the metropolitan theme on the balances all the way around. Just a great couples camper. If you were looking to sleep two to four and you want to get out on an adventure, bikers, hikers, whatever, this would be a fantastic option. It's rugged, it's beautiful on the inside, high ceilings, over 80 inches, and you got plenty of room. You got block insulation in here, that foam core insulation, you got aluminum frame. It's just a solid, rugged, but beautiful little camper. So we've seen the inside of this 2020 Forest River Nobo 19.5. What do you say we go check out the outside? Hey everybody, here we are on the outside, the 2020 Forest River Nobo, the No Boundaries, 19.5 travel trailer. Built lightweight, fantastic aluminum structure, good insulation. We're gonna start right up front. You got the molded end cap with the beautiful window. This is where the master bedroom is right behind there. And you do have the LED scare lights up there as well. Diamond plated rock guard. 120 pound LP tank, power tongue jack with LED light, making setup a whole lot easier. We come around to the campsite. You're gonna see the sealed tinted safety windows all the way around this unit. They are set up for Wi-Fi as well with the extender built in. You got finished off pass through storage. As you can see, it goes all the way through. You even have the corner notches there, but this is a great place if you want to put some hangers for fishing rods, fishing poles, stuff you didn't want to have laying down. That back wall right there would be a great spot for it. Fiberglass exterior all the way around with the cool looking graphics. You got an LP quick connect. So underneath this 12 foot awning with the LED floodlight, if you want to do some entertaining and you had that exterior grill, you could plug it in right there. Now, single axle, and you're going to notice this is some of the best ground clearance you're going to find in travel trailers. Single axle, 15 inch tire with the nitro filled rugged 4x4 tower, uh, 4x4 tires on this thing. Low point drain is located just under there. Got the solid Moride steps and grab handle that's extended that also goes in and helps keep the door locked. Got power ports right there. So if you want to charge your phone, plug in the boom box, as I like to say, do the grilling, enjoy it, sit outside and enjoy where you could take this thing because you could practically take it anywhere. Back to your fridge right here. Four by four sewer hose storage is set up right there over the top ladder which is solid mounted and this is a fully walkable roof maximum capacity i think is around 500 pounds so you could easily get up there and get on top of this roof nitro filled spare tire mounted right there diamond plated rock guard in the back just once again giving this travel trailer more of that rugged feel cable and satellite connection there a great feature in a camper this size that you won't see a whole lot you got the black tank flush 
power plug right there for your 30 amp service, external shower, which is fantastic to have, galley tank, wastewater holding tank, and sewer outlet connections. So you got your gray and your black, both labeled there. Don't get confused by there. That just means gray, that means black. And then there is your sewer outlet connection there. Our slide, which you can see is solid, fiberglass all the way around. This also has an enclosed underbelly, helping to make things stay insulated when you want them insulated. Fresh water connection, city water connection, right there side by side. The other side of the pass-through storage, which is magnetic and anti-slam, but it's always the most important part of any travel trailer is going to be this right here, the info panel. Find out how much this weighs. For example, this one weighs 4,400 pounds. All the 19 series of the uh, Forest River Nobos 19s are gonna be under 5,000 pounds, but talk to your RV specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors and ask them, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's what this travel trailer weighs. Help me find the one that's right for me. But for a couple that's looking to upgrade their camping experience, get outside, need something with the creature comforts of home, some beautiful modern interiors, but also rugged exterior, this 2020 Nobo 19.5 is a fantastic option to check out. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you think of this Nobo? Did you like it? Do you like the interiors? What would you change? What did you not like? I love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. And as always, come check out a camper. I'll see you soon.